helps if I plug them in. Right, so we're getting fairly close, I hope, to... Oh, bloody hell. I can't make the bloody video work without the... Um, these things hanging around my bloody head all the time. So, <coughs> that one's loose. That's the, I'm going to leave the top bolt in once it's loosened, which it is now, which I'm pleased about. And now, these others. Bloody hell, I feel like a sodding dog, an Alsatian dog chained up when he wants to go and bite something and he can't get because he's got a bloody chain round his neck. Anyway. I say the bloody problems I have. I mean obviously I wouldn't be worrying about this if I wasn't trying to record it but um, I want to record, I don't want to be one of these so here's one we prepared earlier sort of thing you know I'd, I'd like to see all the bloody hassle that I have doing these simple jobs. Now this job is made harder because the um, the socket won't go onto the bolt because the exhaust pipe's in the way, the down pipe's in the way. And even the open-ended spanner, the ring spanner won't go on because the little bracket that holds the radiator on, which I thought I'd leave on because it would save time, that's in the way of this spanner now. But it's all a question of living and learning, you know, I am learning things as I go along, working on the bike, trial and error. And I don't know if you probably can't really see very well. There we are, in daylight again. That's a bit better. I might give me a bit, give myself a bit more rope. Okay, uh, now. Well, there's the engine. So when you see <laughs> that dropping onto the floor, you'll know I've sorted it. I think I'm going to remove this bracket anyway because it's covered in shit and I'll probably... I might kind of give this whole bike a bit of a spruce up and clean everything up and replace some of these things that are looking a bit dirty and rusty. Again, there'll be nighttime jobs, things that I can do inside when it's dark and as I say, I'm, I'm rushing now because it is getting a bit... I can see the light is fading fast. <clears throat> anyway, I don't want these things to be longer than five minutes, so... I'll take that one off. I'm keeping all the bolts in this handy peanut butter jar which I have plenty of. <laughs> it's one of my staple diets, I think. Anyway, so y you can see where I'm going. The radiator's off and drained. I've got all my bolts in a safe place. Now all I'm hoping, all if I undo these bolts, the engine will drop down. The, the only thing I'm slightly concerned about is that I know it's uh, got oil in the frame, but I'm hoping that 
it won't be up that high surely um, and I'm hoping I'll only have to disconnect this hose and, and let it all drop down on the floor anyway that's as far as we've got so far I'll uh, give you another one before it gets